to invite Mr. Bill Lewis, uh, President and CEO of Arista Life Science North America. And uh, as you're getting yourself settled, Mr. Lewis, I just want to thank you for joining us this afternoon. And um, I'm sure you've heard an earful. So, so now it's your opportunity to share with us um, uh, some of your approach uh, representing Arista. And again, I would ask you to start maybe with a little bit of a self-introduction before we get into the substance of the day. Yes, sir. Um, I guess I better get up closer to this. Is that better? Uh, my name is Bill Lewis, uh, President and CEO of Arista Life Sciences North America. Uh, I, in my introduction, basically, it, you will hear my history. Um, first of all, thank you very much, Chairman Monning, for having me um, and the other committee members. Thank you for the opportunity to talk about MIDAS. MIDAS is the brand name of the fumigant we're talking about, itomethane. And also thank you for letting me come talk about the protections we're putting in place for workers when handling this product. I began working in the South Carolina cotton fields at the age of 15. I moved from there into a laboratory, worked my way through school, and now I'm the proud manager of a company that puts food on every American's plate. Itomethane was developed by scientists at the University of California, Riverside, in the 1990s as an alternative to methyl bromide. And as we all know, methyl bromide is a fumigant that's been used here in California. It's being phased out under the Montreal Protocol due to its ozone depletion characteristics. Arista Life Sciences was granted a license by the University of California to develop and commercialize the product. And while also doing that, we pay a royalty back to the university system on everything we sell today and will sell in the future. We submitted our first data package to the EPA in the state of California seven years ago in 2002. During the process, we have worked closely with dozens of EPA scientists and researchers from leading universities, UC Davis, UC Riverside, University of Florida, University of Georgia. In fact, itomethane data package has been one of the most closely scrutinized submissions ever. And those just aren't my words. The EPA said, and I quote, that the review of itomethane was one of the most thorough analysis ever completed on a new pesticide by the agency. In addition, we have the toughest label in the fumigant industry paired with the most comprehensive stewardship and infield training program in agriculture. Our product and training around it is truly next generation technology. In 2007, the EPA registered MIDAS and 47 states have followed suit. To date, MIDAS has been used on more than 17,000 acres from Michigan to Maine, the Carolinas, Georgia, Florida, and other states without an incident. Maine, the Carolinas, Georgia, Florida, and other states without an incident. This real world experience is proof that itomethane can be and is used safely in the field. Because itomethane is chemically similar to methyl bromide, it is every bit as effective. But there is some good news. Growers use 30 to 50 percent less per acre. So if you wanted to get the same number of molecules of methyl iodide in the soil vapor phase to act as a fumigant, you would have to use three times as much weight of methyl iodide as you would methyl bromide. That's a simple chemical fact. It's not a matter of opinion. It's something that you can look up. Growers use 30 to 50 percent less per acre than methyl bromide. And there's more good news. Growers who use an effective fumigant can often reduce the amount of other compounds used throughout the growing season. That means less chemicals in the field. And I think by all the testimony today, everybody would agree that's a positive. I'd like to take a moment to explain how itomethane is used in other states today. Our stewardship program is unmatched in the ag industry. Itomethane is, apply is applied by professional certified applicators who are licensed by the states. These professionals typically have years of experience. In addition to state certification, the applicators must be qualified by ARISTA through classroom training that is specific to our product and our safety requirements. 
Once hydromethane is sold, we are out in the field with applicators to ensure that the equipment is calibrated properly, that the applicators understand the labor requirements, and that the applicators, farm workers, and bystanders will all be protected. First, a buffer zone of safety is established around the application site. Idomethane is then injected under the ground before crops are ever planted. Another aspect of methyl iodide, and really the last point I'd like to make, is that since methyl iodide is almost entirely going to percolate downward in the soil as a liquid, it's going to inevitably mix with groundwater. And the only chemistry that's going to take place is ultimate reaction with the groundwater to form methyl alcohol. Now, the time scale of this reaction is going to depend on the alkalinity of the groundwater. The more alkaline the groundwater, the faster this process will be. Under completely neutral conditions, it might be months to years, but the alkalinity, I think, of most groundwater in the state of California is quite high, so we're talking about weeks to months. And this conversion to methyl alcohol, which as we all know, wood alcohol, two teaspoons and you're blind, half a cup and you're dead, um, this is going to contaminate groundwater, and since methyl alcohol boils at a lower temperature than water does, even distillation will not remove it. So think the field is then immediately tarped and is monitored for 48 hours to ensure that the buffer zones remain intact and that no one enters the field without protective, personal protective equipment. Our commitment to safety to farm workers, neighbors, and bystanders is state of the art for this new generation fumigant. That's a big part of why EPA and 47 other states have approved the use of itomethane. This year, the EPA gave my company its prestigious ozone layer protection award. This is EPA's only international award and is something EPA instituted to recognize companies and individuals who make substantial contributions towards saving the ozone layer. EPA does not grant this easily, and especially to companies such as mine. Also this year, we were nominated for the President's Green Chemistry Award, and we've been nominated by an international agricultural association for best stewardship program and best new product. We know how vital agriculture is to California. What is not always well known is how vital fumigants are to the growers here in California. Itomethane is a great innovation in the field. Our commitment to safety and our industry leading stewardship program are also great innovations. Again, thank you very much for having me. I welcome your questions and comments and hopefully maybe some clarification of some of the comments that have preceded me. Great. Thank you, Mr. Lewis. Again, thank you for being here this afternoon with us. Uh, Mr. Berryhill. Yeah, Mr. Lewis, what do you what do you say to the the statement that they said that uh, you might not even know there was any damage or any health risk for years to come? I mean, EPA through their process of taking a look at how to regulate this compound has taken into consideration through all the various studies that we've submitted chronic health effects. Now, I'm not going to sit here and argue as far as a toxicological base because that's not my background. But I know that this compound, as you had California DPR state, the resubmission of some extra data that was needed to help understand the whole chemistry, toxicological profile of this molecule was given. And EPA's review of this came back with, under the use that we're going to use, the stewardship procedures we're going to put in place, how we're going to monitor the fields and work with the applicators, this product can be used safely. Yeah. So when someone's using this product, your folks are out there, the county folks are out there, there's probably a whole army of folks out there when it's being applied, making sure that everything is done by the book. Fumigation is taken very seriously. There's no doubt about it. That's why it's getting so much review, such as here today. And that's why EPA took the time they did to review our label and to work with us as far as how the application pre procedures will take place. The unique thing about California, which is very good, is that California is almost all custom applied. In other words, there are professional applicators that put this on. 